And now you're back from outer space. All right, so here we are a couple days before D-Day, AKA Black Friday. And uh, just kind of see what we got in the store now. They put a couple things out new uh, that were not out before. And I'm not gonna go over every little teeny, teeny, teeny little thing that I did before, but they got a ton of these carts, a ton. Now they're built nice, but the 448 we've got, they had more here. Now I'm gonna have to move them somewhere else. But anyway, um, they seem to have restocked the stores since we had the big blowout where a lot of us got these pack out kits for 105 ish um at my location they don't seem to have the light here but you know for some reason at this store they don't really have, they didn't they're like the last to get anything when it comes to that sort of stuff but i wanted to get a couple highlights and one of what i think is probably the best price you're going to find one of the best values in my opinion is this workbench or rolling toolbox here for 248 now i will tell you it's not the widest work surface but it's 248 bucks it does not feel cheap and chintzy i mean it's got a nice pad in here it's no slow close I mean, doesn't I mean it's really well built, in my opinion. So anyway, I really like this. And they had last week they had five of them here, and I got one left. Now this is another one. I believe this is a hundred dollars more. Um, now this is going to be the 24 inch versus the 18 inch, so you're getting a lot more work surface, but it is a little more money. And I believe this also is slow close as well, and it's built a little bit, a little bit better. This one's also got a power strip on the side with some USBs, so that's nice. And this one I has it as well. Um, and they've got these monsters here. Now they've got this one. I don't know what the price is on this one. So it's eight ninety eight, but it says it's damaged but again i don't know what is discounted to but i mean it looks like somebody ran into it but i mean really it still would not be a bad if you can get this for a good price that wouldn't be a bad idea either. all right and of course we got the milwaukee one here and it's locked up but real solid I mean, it's probably, feels like solid steel, but well, obviously no, it's not. All right, and then we got some of this stuff here. If you're interested. All right. Scissors, I guess, seem to be selling okay. I don't think it's the smartest idea to keep moving them to the top. Uh, eventually, that's just not gonna, gonna hold. Um, the Craig stuff not really selling that well for some reason. The Avanti stuff seems to be doing okay. Alright, it took them a while to get this in the store set up on the display, but it's the promo where you buy the 12, the tower light. The super saws off the recip brand new or the backpack you back and get the free eight and they got the whole dozer set in the pack out they finally started locking these up for some reason oh shoot no this one, no just the front one locked up for some reason but this is not a bad value here i think this box is either 39 or 49 dollars on its own Plus you get the arbors, 
the pilot drill bits and the recip saw blades. Now these aren't the best quality that they have. I personally like the record blades the best. These are a little bit more thin, a thinner kerf than the ones that I like. But still, you get a ton of them right here at the front. I actually bought this, so we might take a look at this kit uh, another day. Anyway. Uh, the Red Helix Titanium Drill Bit Sits are selling pretty good. We still got plenty of those left. We got this promo back again sent from last quarter. The 988 for the uh, eight piece spade bit set. Um, they'll probably, these are not quite selling as well as I thought they would. So we'll probably see those uh, on a special, maybe for 15 bucks after a while. We've got plenty of these, you might see these as well. Who knows, this might be the, the new like standard price on those. All right, here's, 1997 for the 10 piece set with the uh oh and you get 10 more in the, in the little case here this is a nice little way to organize your blades if you don't want to use the pvc pipe method again you know you might as well treat those as disposable bits for 988 you know if you're going to a white or pink elephant party or whatever for Chinese Christmas just in your $10 limit or $15 limit you can snag that hmm alright $80 for the DeWalt 63 gallon tough chest Look at him. Now this is really a great value. You're still getting the weather stripping all around the top. You got plenty of space and they're sturdy enough where you can strap something down at the top. And you got this handle that comes out. And it's plenty strong enough where you can carry whatever you know if you, you don't want to spend the money on the tough system or the t-stack or the Milwaukee pack out and you have a lot of stuff it's not a bad way to go <clears throat> so clearing out these Avanti Pro blades all right so now here we got the screwdrivers and the combination pliers for some okay uh, they still have quite a few and even these six and ones which they may try to get clear out of these because they have a ton and we know about the seven and one they have coming out or it should be out anytime but uh be interested in getting getting this because i do a lot of electrical work overhead and up on scaffolding and uh be nice to have an all-in-one tool all right they still have a ton of these left <clears throat> the uh half inch impact sockets plenty in metric and standard again this is probably going to depend on your location but they still have quite a few here because the lights are not really doing much and i think the only reason is because they're battery power or alkaline power to not rechargeable they're rechargeable like even for 20 bucks i think that'd be a great price and they'd probably sell a ton of them but nobody wants to keep throwing away batteries okay? nobody, nobody wants to do that all right now when i saw this originally i, I, I my, almost fainted a second for 398 obviously this is on the wrong uh cabinet because there's no way this is uh, 398 um, right, we got more saw blades over here. Not really selling well. Again, all right. You got the Husky weatherproof case. 
uh, haven't really sold too many of them. But you know, if you're boating or you're camping or maybe you're on the river, what have you, it's a good weatherproof, waterproof case and it floats. So you keep your stuff dry. Let's see. I mean, they haven't sold any of these. The stubby tool set. Now this is kind of great to kind of throw in there. Throw in your toolbox underneath the seat. The seat storage or whatever. You know, if you got to change a battery, the battery dies, or whatever. It's a good kit to have on you. I haven't sold any of these speakers. Be, like I said, I'd be interested to see what they sound like. And I think you can... I don't think you can like pair these with other speakers to create you know like a bigger sound or whatever. All right, the Stanley tape measures they're selling pretty good. 1988. Again, I think we saw this last year, so um, I think they were the same price. You know, the standard staple for the trades. We got some more of the tough case or the weatherproof cases I don't think I saw these last time now these these are rechargeable power packs are really starting to kind of take off um, everybody's making them uh, people are coming out the woodworks making them now these tool companies are jumping oh Jesus right um, these tool companies are kind of jumping on board um, I don't know, I can't even read this A 4,000 milliamp, so no, not. I mean, I guess for two of them, it's not that bad. And you're getting the cables included. Um, and I still got plenty of the empires left. Again, saw the same deal last year, they bring it back year after year. It's just kind of sort of lost its luster over the years, I guess, because it's they keep it's the same, same one every year. All right, I definitely need to get. This is a nice here. Like I said, we, you know, we saw my video yesterday with the new Milwaukee top off. We saw I had that Ryobi uh, inverter as well. And there's some issues with it. Um, but, uh, and these aren't quite long enough. Uh, oh, that might be okay. Cause this is kind of skinny at this end where the bits go into. I might get this and get it, give it a try. And here we got some six and one screwdriver packs. Um, here we got the 12 inch tool bag, 597. And then we got some of these extensions. They're selling pretty good, except for the, the three piece. Maybe because they're maybe too long. These seem to be selling okay. All right, these crew chief gloves, uh, I, don't, I don't really like them. I'd rather spend an extra five bucks in Milwaukee. They seem kind of thin. Um, here we got these firm grip gloves. Now, if I guess for a three, three pair, they're not too bad. Again, they got good padding on the knuckles, but they're kind of thin up here on the palm and in fingers. So maybe they're good for if you need some High dexterity, high dexterity gloves. All right, and these, <clears throat> the Husky pry bar sets, three piece. So like they only sold two, unless they restocked it. You know, dedicated uh, heavy duty pry bars, if you're interested in. got this three-piece tool bag set 29.88 still here in the backpack they've, they've got three of them left again it's a really solid built backpack they a nice rubberized or plastic bottom I wish it was more of a rubber because there's not much grip on there um, it's kind of a hard plastic 1988 now these I don't know if these bits are any better than that other one. Or in this, the little ones that are in this pack here. And these look like they're... Maybe not. But anyway. 
All right, we got the cutoff tool and the compact reset. Still got a good bit of those. Seventeen ninety seven air hose. Still got a ton of these compressors left. Your choice, twelve volt or the plug in. All right, here's the new uh, impact wrench, the three eighths. Now, Ryobi has a. They're having another little conference or their little symposium or some sort of announcement on December 10th and there's a little whisper in the wind uh, that they're gonna have a mid-torque version uh, of, the, of the impact wrench. I don't really have, know a lot of information about the torque specs but it looks sort of like a Milwaukee mid-torque. Um, I got the 24 piece or 19 piece adapter and extension set. 25 bucks still got that and here we got the 12 volt husky ratchet again the only issue with these is once it's dead it's dead the battery is not removable it's contained you can't just swap it out and keep going to work you have to keep charging it so just keep that in mind if you're trying on a lot of wrenches you need it for an extended period of time you know it may die on you and you know you get 240 fastener cycles per charge so i guess for some people if you're if you can keep putting it on the charger every time you're not using it in between vehicles or whatever i guess it might not be such a bad idea but just keep that in mind Still good on the Diablo saw blades. Usually they blow through these. Now, I do like this set a little bit better than just the eight piece. Because uh, you're getting 16 here, but you're also getting a nice case or a folding bag or whatever you like to call it. You, know, you keep everything in here and organize and you just fold it up and you go on about your business so i like that for twenty dollars and here we got the husky six and one which is going to be on par with the or at least similar to the milwaukee ones um i don't know what the difference is i think here you got a crimper uh for some of your maybe butt joints or your butt butt nuts whatever you want to call them some of your terminal connectors. I like this for $12.97. Got the Husky slip groove, or slip, slip joint pliers. I have the the eight inch set and I really like those. Um, the handles, you don't have to worry about the handle sliding off. Doesn't have any issues with mine. All right, here we got, this pot is empty. But uh, these seem to be selling pretty good. They've got three of them left. It's $20 for the uh, bit set and oscillating tool blades. Actually, they got two stacks left. They must have sold all out of the multi tool. It's gone. They wiped it out. For 99 bucks, I don't blame them. You get the two in the charger, and you get two blades. Or you could have gotten maybe you can still get it online and they have not sold any of the brad nailers um this is a pretty good price on this i think this is about what i paid for my rigid nailer so i would not hesitate to jump on that the new knives 1488 we've got a couple of those left again this is going to vary by store and here you got some of the dewalts i would um I had a one DeWalt tape that kind of turned me off of DeWalt tapes. Um, if you've had luck with them, you know, I'm glad. But I might would step up to the Fat Maxes before I would go with these. 
We got some of the Bosch lasers left still. Let's see. Now we got the Atomic 100 reset. Yeah. $99, your choice. Oh, we got a little 3D. Please take battery pick ticket to any register. All right, they got the threes, 21,700 threes for 99 bucks. I still got a good bit of this atomic stuff left. I mean, these black and gold sets, they're the same price. This is a good price here. You know, I don't think you're gonna find a better set of drill bits for under $10. Oh, I didn't even see it. You get up to a half inch. And all the way down to a sixteenth. Really, it runs the gambit a lot of your sizes that you need. They don't have a lot of doubles of the ones that usually break a little bit easier. But, like I said, it's less than 10 bucks. And they're really solid drill bits. I really like them. Um, I saw that price last quarter. It's the buy it price for sure. Same way with this, same with this kit here. It's a good solid little kit. I like these cases. You can connect them to each other. You keep them all organized. I like that they're see-through. You can see through the top immediately and see what you have. You don't have to worry about fiddling, trying to find your your set or finding a certain bit that you need or a certain case that has a certain bit in it. You can see right through it. And again, they connect to each other and uh, makes it really easy and keeps everything neat. This is in the wrong spot here. Put it back over here. All right. So again, still got a good bit of atomic stuff left. So maybe we might see those get gone, or at least on the on the, on the clearance end cap over there. Um, to twenty-four dollars for the twenty-three piece shockwave titanium bit set or drill bit set. Now this is the one, this is the 19 or the $14 piece. Is it 14? I will check that in a minute, but this is not in the right spot. Um, this kit here, this set here is $24.97. Again, this kit you do get a lot of doubles. All right, there's 988. That's just not even, get everything all jacked up. All right, this is not bad here. 988, you get this nice six inch adapter. You get some two inch bits. And if you don't mind using this magnetic bit holder, then you get a lot of plenty of one inch bits. You get some nut drivers and you get a three eighths inch adapter or socket adapter. All right, the fuel multi-tool, it's gone. They wiped it out. And there's still plenty of twos left though. And then they have still, they have a lot of the multi-tool blade sets. I think they thought they were gonna sell a lot more of these than they have, because there's plenty here and there's plenty more everywhere else. Same way with the inflator, still 99 bucks. Um, when it was 89 or 86. Uh, I just don't think they're, they're not really selling too many of them. Um, here we got the carbide teeth uh, blades. So you get this BOGO, so you get two in here, ten ninety seven. Not 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 a terrible deal either. And here's the torch. It's a BOGO as well. Now these aren't the new nitrous carbide um, sets. And here we got. Now here's we got a nine piece here for thirty nine ninety seven, or you can get the other the pack the one with the pack out box. The choice is yours. All right, we got the firm grip job site tumbler and gloves inside, you know, for $14.88. This is not bad. You drink your morning coffee or whatever you tea, green tea, whatever you, whatever you want to drink. We got the pin light, the two pack for 30 bucks. And then we got this headlamp, which, you know, I was kind of, well, this used to, didn't used to be my favorite headlamp, but I've kind of grown to grown to like it. Um, it is kind of nice to have a two 
separate functions, but I do like the simplicity of the other one. It's just a, a floodlight. And then we got 988 for the three pair of cut level, cut level one gloves. It's pretty good. Not a big fan of the goat skin gloves. Um, just don't really feel that comfortable. They don't really feel that thick. You know, maybe good for throwing logs around or splitting wood. I don't, uh, I don't typically find of them. Um, and here we got 25 bucks for the 120 piece impact set. Uh, this, you know, this is going to have you covered as far as numbers of bits, but there's just a lot of the little one inch bits. But again, if you don't mind using the magnetic bit holder, you know, it's, it's going to be good for you. Let's see. All right, they're really selling a lot, a lot of this stuff here. A lot of the batteries are gone. Was that not 79? Oh, they changed it. They went up. This was 79. Now they've gone up to 99. Don't know why. Uh, weird. Because this doesn't make any sense now. Why would you pay that when you can spend 129 and get a two or four and six? All right. So they've gotten rid of all the tapes. They're gone. All the rafter and trim rafter or trim squares are gone. And here's that shockwave set. Still got some. I did pick up this set right here. I kind of I've kind of grown to like this the compact one right here on the right. It's nice. You flip open real easy. Made solid. It's got a good blade retention on it. Um, and this is nice too to have, maybe not to carry around everywhere, but to have on the site when you need it, or maybe in the drawer, the toolbox. Picked up a pair of these gloves. I like them. However, the smart swipe feature, uh, for some reason, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but uh, the smart swipe is not in the finger of the glove. I'm actually having to use my knuckle. Maybe that, I mean, I don't know, like I said, I'll have to try to look at it, see what I'm doing wrong but I was not able to get the fingertips pipe to work. I got plenty of the Milwaukee stuff here, the glass, I mean the uh, hats and the shirts, the long sleeve shirts. Um, really thick, heavy duty like the t-shirts. Um, $99 for the briefcase vac. And you got the filters. Um, online, I believe you can get this I think either for 99 or 109 with two filters as well. All right, now I'm in the southeast. Uh, the temperatures are yo-yo and like they are everywhere else, but we do get a little bit warmer here. These really are not selling. They're nice thick, thick gloves. I just don't know if they're going to sell that well here. It's just to get cold enough. We got the beanies and the sweatshirts. Still a lot here. All right, we'll hit over here real quick. All right, so so you still got plenty of these all over here. See, so look here, twenty nine ninety eight. So spend the extra twenty dollars and get the whole sauce in the reset blades. Still got plenty of the Gen threes. I got two of them left here for $200. Um, again, I don't see they're out of these six and the three. Um, I don't know. I don't see any of these, but a lot of these batteries are putting in a locker somewhere. But I see they've got more of these threes in. Like I said, $99. I don't know why. They were $79 last week. But this is definitely a way to go. You get a two, a four, and a six. And this is the first time I've seen these in the store. The pack out bags. Let's open her up and just take a look and see. So they've got a nice, nice hard plastic bottom. I'm sure it'll work 
well with the with the pack out. Let's see what's going on. Tonight, here's a little rigid section. We know about our loopholes on the website. Take a look. And we've got the stubby. I don't see the, the half inch in the store, but they do have the three eighths. And they got the miter saw. 350 12 inch dual sliding miter saw. Hmm. Are just 399 for this kit here? Is all the brushed stuff? No octane, like maybe Gen, Gen 5X. Here we go. Here, the box. All right, sixty-eight dollars for the pressure washer. I like that how small these have gotten. Uh, the one I have is really kind of unnecessarily big. It's hard to kind of store it. Um, these are still these are going for ninety-nine. If you're interested, um, I think the husky sockets or ratchets are some of my more favorite ratchets. They just have a uh, better profile, slim, and they sort of fit in your hands pretty well. All right, we got the flex hold advantage stuff. They still got two of these left. Um, I don't know, they keep replenishing these a little bit at a time. We got the nice early display in here. Again, you know, with these here, you know, they're HP brushless, but we're not seeing the extra contacts. And I have not even, I have not seen anything official, and I have not seen anything for sure about why these don't have the extra contacts to work with the HP batteries and why the non HP tools, non the brushless non HP have the terminals. Um, I'm not gotten clarification on that, but I did see the TTI reps in here and I should have asked them, but I forgot. And they're here, so I'm gonna ask them. Maybe not on camera, but I will ask and report. And we'll take a look. Now, for some reason, you know, we'll take a look at what they got. And then we'll take a look at the OPE stuff because they're really starting to sort of finally revitalize, revitalize, how you say that word, the OPE stuff in the store. And you can buy these husky ones up front for less than 10 bucks. All right, here's their 12 piece. It'll all sit $28. Again, not a pack out. It's not a bad price, but again, you can get the pack out box with the reset blades and the whole saw set for 49 bucks that might be the way to go and if you need some closed steamer you got some adjustable or flex flex head ratcheting wrenches all right here they got the, they got the DeWalt stuff showed back here on the end cap tough system 2.0 Portable workbench for 69 is back in the store. They got a good bit of them here. All right. Again, the two the two pack of 400 hour batteries, 79 bucks. That's a great deal, especially if you've got that inverter, or you've got some lights, or some stuff that doesn't really require an HP battery. 
It's a good price there. $88 for the Weekend Warrior string trimmer. But $68 for the pole saw is a great price. It's a good pole saw. Uh, I don't really know about the hit the uh, chainsaw, but I wish it was the brushless one. But this is going to be good for some of your smaller cuts and pruning. And I have not used the edge trimmer, but I've heard good things about it. Again, not commercial duty, but it'll get the job done. Check out the OPE stuff. All right, so the 40 volt push mower is back up to 299. It was at 249. Um, don't know why. I guess they decided to keep some in stock. I guess instead of getting rid of them. Now we know Ego's out, Toro's in, and out of this store they've really begun to sort of revamp the OPE section. They've got the Roby section, the Toro section, and now they've kind of blocked everything off to where you've got, and Ryobi seems to have a substantial footprint. Um, again, geared more towards the homeowner. Lawnmower's here. They got the blower, backpack blower, 40 volt. Again, you got, you put two of them on here when one dies, the other one kicks on, or you can run it with just one battery, um, how, however you like. This blower's okay, it's pretty good. Um, it's kind of comparable to that, that Hart backpack blower. Um, you know, for some reason, the blower that I had, you couldn't, you had to hold the button down to get the turbo. Uh, otherwise, I probably would have kept it. Um, unless they've changed something since I've had it. Um, maybe it was not a push button where you get two minutes of boost, but mine, you had to hold the button down and it was really uncomfortable. And I think my I just had a, a bad one. But anyway, we kind of get everything here. Everything's kind of laid out really nice. Um, they've got different sections. Got trimmers. Here's that um, that whisper blower. There's got to be a way that they designed this that keeps it whispery quiet. Um, I don't. I've not used it. I don't know anybody has used it, so I can't really say anything about it. Um, but I do know they have still have ego stuff left, and I don't know what they're planning on doing with it. Um, they must have just found the stuff because I've been looking to see to get some stuff on clearance, and I haven't been able to really find anything. So I don't know how much they'd be. Willing to sell those for, or they might wait till next season. I don't really know. Um, anyway, now they got a whole DeWalt section. You know, now they're really starting to kind of get everything out before they had everything kind of grouped together, and it was they didn't really have much of anything from any brand. It was just like one blower. Uh, a lot of stuff wasn't on display. Now they got two DeWalt chainsaws in here was for I don't think they had any um, same way with the Milwaukee section uh, now they're really starting to they never had the chainsaw in the store now they've got it in the store here and they certainly never had it where you can touch it and feel it uh, if I kind of always had the blower but you know, it's kind of really starting to revamp the whole image and have you have everything divided up where you can easily find everything same way with the Makita stuff. But they're not really showing Makita any love because they're splitting them with the Toro stuff. I don't know what the deal is with that. Hmm. See, this is the first time they've had this out in the store. The string trimmer. I, I don't understand why they're... They don't have its own... Like, own bay and why Ryobi has so much all right then we got the 60 volt Toro stuff again the Toro is coming in and replacing the ego you know we say say it's 60 volts but you know it's 56 flex force 
the batteries. Oh geez. Oh, let's have some fun with this bad boy. All right, so this is a pretty beefy tube. I'm not gonna lie to you. <clears throat> all right, really, it's lightweight. I mean, the weight, the weight on it is good. It's really not all that heavy, not uncomfortable to use. So really, the tur usually the turbo button gives you a little bit of extra juice. That really kicks it up a notch. Now, I'm working on a video of that Greenworks 60 volt blower, which, you know, after using the Milwaukee blower and using that blower, I'm really impressed with the performance of that, of that blower. Um, it's, it's really surprised me and I really like it. And this, this seems to be about comparable to that. And here we got the Toro string trimmer. It's the first time I've seen this in store as well. Let's take this hold All right, so. Trying to slide around on me. Again, you can connect it in the middle. They're gonna have attachments for it. Battery slides on the back, 60 volts. Yeah, seems to be a little front end heavy, but it's not, not terrible. And again, you can looks like you can adjust this handle. It looks like they were a little bit smarter about it than DeWalt was, as far as not being able to move the grip or move the handle. And I like that it's long. To me, um, you know, whenever you're weeding, you want to kind of keep this flat, and this way you kind of keep everything locked in with your elbow and your arm and your other arm, and you can kind of keep this flat and level without putting a lot of strain on your back. So, like the Makita, the Makita trimmer is good. The Milwaukee trimmer is good. The DeWalt one seems to be a little bit short, as you can see here. And there's really no way to adjust that. So that way you have to keep your arm dropped down to keep the trimmer head level with the ground. So you don't come at it at an angle and potentially risk scalping the, the grass and cutting it too short. Now here they this also now they got a big echo section. Now, and as if the railway section wasn't big enough, now they have their own gas powered section. Now here's that gas version of the back of the 40 volt backpack blower, 175 miles per hour, 760 CFMs. You know, when the battery power's not enough when you have a bigger property you know, you're gonna have to go gas unless you have a lot of batteries laying around hmm you got a lot of echo stuff in here now and everything's everything's i'm glad they did this everything's easier to find you know you can easily go to that section whatever brand you have and go go to it now I'm just wondering where they're going to put all the accessories at. You know, like some extra chains. You know, we know that Milwaukee uses that thin kerf blade that, you know, you can't really use it. You can't really get, uh, like the other chainsaws use a different blade. So look at this DeWalt saw. This is a thin kerf too. I think a lot of these electric ones are using a thinner kerf blade. To make it a little bit easier on the motor and here's that 18 volt or 20 volt saw it's got a thin kerf on it as well and here's that new blower and there's a 60 volt um, and here we got some some misfits over here so we got, I wonder what they're gonna do with this. I got the Ego right here. You know, I didn't see anything wrong with it. I wonder how much they'd sell it for. It's missing the end on it. I don't know, I don't think that's the power load head. But then they got this 
No, I guess it's a smaller blower. It's not the 650, this is the 530. Um, and then you got the hedge trimmer, which really seems a little bit anemic motor wise, and it seems to be really long. I have not used it, I, don't, I haven't heard anybody that has used it, um, so I can't comment on the performance, but just from the looks wise, um, you know, it's really small. But I'm sure it performs just fine. All right, that's it. I'm getting out of here. Battery charger and USB power source. So you can only use this as a battery charger, and you can use this as a power source. You got a USB, and that looks like maybe the charger. Hmm interesting all right i'm getting out of here peace and love and hope you and your family have a good thanksgiving holiday stay safe